Okay, our next question is question number 14. How many multiples of 4 lies between 10 and 250? So, one number is 10. Okay, 10 if it is divided by 4, it will give, okay, that is 2. Okay, so 2 is balance. So, 4 minus 2 equal to 2. So, we can write the first first number after 10 after 10 which is divisible by which is divisible by divisible by 4 is equal to 12 okay so, what I will do on the next page, we will write initial term, initial term of the AP equal to 12 and, and common difference, common difference, difference equal to 4. So, two things we have got. Now, we have got the last term. We have got, we have to find the last term. So, for finding out last term, okay, what is given? This I will erase. I have noted already on the next page and with this we will erase. Now, the highest number is 250. Is it divisible by 4? We will check. Okay. So, 24 minus 1, okay, 2 za, that is 8, okay, so 250, 250 minus 2 equal to 248, 248 is the highest number before 250 which can be divided by 4, we will check it, so 248, divided by 4 okay so last term will be 248 so that also we will write okay and and last term last term equal to 248 okay so, our AP, our AP is, that is 12, 16, 20, 24 and 2, 4, 8. Okay. Now, what is the term? What type, what number of term is 2, 4, 8? Let, let the term 248 be nth term, nth term, okay. So, we know that nth term that is 248 equal to a plus n minus 1 into d that is equal to a is 12, a is 12 plus n we have to find n minus 1 into d is 4 okay or we can write okay this i will bring this side and this i will bring that side if you do that way we will write that is n minus 1 into 4 equal to 248 minus 12 that is equal to so 6 and from 3, from 4, if 1 is going, that will be 3 and 2. Okay. So, again, or, or we can write, that is n minus 1, n minus 1 equal to 2, 3, 6 divided by 4. 
फोर फोर फाइव जा ट्वेंटी थ्री फोर नाइन जा थर्टी सिक्स सो फिफ्टी नाइन वी हैव गॉट और और एन इक्वल टू फिफ्टी नाइन प्लस वन इक्वल टू सिक्सटी सो वट इज द एंसर एंसर इज सिक्सटी देर आर सिक्सटी ओके मल्टीपुल्स ऑफ देर आर सिक्सटी मल्टीपुल्स ऑफ फोर फ्रॉम ट्वेल्व टू टू फोर एट दिस इज द एंसर सो हाउ मेनी टर्म्स आर देर देर आर सिक्सटी टर्म्स देर आर सिक्सटी मल्टीपुल्स विच आर डिविजुअल बाई फोर दैट लाइज फ्रॉम ट्वेल्व टू टू फोर एट एंड बोथ नंबर आर इंक्लूडेड ट्वेल्व इज ऑल्सो ऑल्सो डिविजुअल एंड टू फोर एट इज ऑल्सो डिविजुअल सो दिस इज द एंसर फॉर आवर क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन आवर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन फॉर वट वैल्यू ऑफ एन आर दी एन टर्म ऑफ टू ए पीज वन ए पी इज गिवेन सिक्सटी थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव सिक्सटी सेवन एंड एन अदर ए पी इज गिवेन थ्री टेन सेवनटीन इक्वल सो वी विल टेक दैट ए पी वन इज सिक्सटी थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव सिक्सटी सेवन एंड सो ऑन ए पी टू ए पी टू इज थ्री टेन Seventeen. Okay, so that I will write a one. A one stands for initial term of a p one equal to sixty three. I will write here a two. A two stands for initial term of a p two. I will write b one. B one stands for that is. Sixty-five minus sixty-three equal to two. That is the common difference of AP one. We will calculate D two. D two is equal to ten minus three equal to seven. That is the common difference of AP two. Now nth term, nth term, nth term. Equal to a plus n minus one into d. That is equal to sixty-three plus n minus one into d d one, not d. Okay. Here also a one. Here also nth term. Nth term equal to equal to a two. Plus n minus one into d two. That is equal to a two is three plus n minus one into seven. Not d one. You write here. This d one we will write. What is the d one? D one is two. Now add per question. Both values are same. And what will be the n? So we will. Draw a line, and we will solve. That is sixty-three plus n minus one into two equal to three plus n minus one into seven. This we have to solve. Okay. So what we will do? We will expand the. Okay. Bracket. We will break first. So we will write sixty-three plus two n minus two equal to three plus seven n minus seven. Or we can write this. We will bring this side, and all number we will bring this side. So we will write or sixty-three minus three. Minus two plus seven equal to seven n minus two n. Further, we can write this will give you five n. So we will change the side. Five n 
equal to this we will do. So, 5 plus 2. So, this is 70 minus 5. So, 65 equal to 65 or n equal to 65 by 5 equal to 13. So, 13th term of AP1 and 13th term of AP2 will be equal. This is the answer. Okay. So, we can write the answer. For writing the answer, we will write here. I need a space, so I am erasing this much portion and I will write the 13th term 13th term of AP 63, 65, 67 and and AP, AP that is 3, 10, 17 will be equal, will be equal. And this is the answer of our question number 15. Now we will see the next question that is question number 16. Here we will end this video. Further discussion will be in our next video.